Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Friday night which means it's alcohol free night and the beverage we're going for tonight is a red wine. It is from Wolf Blast. It's this one. It is the Zero Shiraz and uh, it describes itself as being expertly crafted by our winemakers. It contains less than 0.5% ABV alcohol. It's also low sugar and it goes on to say on the back that Wolf Blast Zero embraces our passion to explore and break boundaries. Uh, since 1966, Wolf Blast has been committed to making quality wines. Uh, our expert winemaker's knowledge and dedication has been applied to creating this pioneering zero range, created for memorable occasions. Uh, using exceptional Australian fruit, uh, Wolf Blast Zero Shiraz has dark berry notes and subtle spice. Enjoy without moderation. So tonight, we're going to enjoy it. With that, without moderation, I don't know yet. It depends if I like it. Um, as with all alcohol-free wines, I'm uh, I'm loath to do it on the untapped scoreboard of joy. So I'm going to say uh, my usual pillars of judgment for wine are: Does it taste good? Would I buy it again? Is it an authentic drinking experience? And then, as uh, as borrowed from Scott and Wonders World, give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, or thumbs in the middle. So, without further ado, let's get it out and into a glass and see what we think. So pouring into my Teku glass, got to keep it somehow beer related. And uh, let's have a look. That's a nice colour. Super deep, arguably the deepest red of any of the alcohol free wines that I've ever sampled. Look at that. Almost jet black with just a little hint of ruby in the background. Like a deep ruby red, almost regal in colour. That's your wine up close in the beer glass. Let's have a whiff. It actually smells like wine. It's got that almost woody nature, as if it's been stored in wooden barrels. There is a deep, dark, rich berry note in the in there going on. A little hint of tartness, not a huge amount. And uh, an overall woody, spicy, aromatic wine going on. Smells actually really quite nice. Arguably one of the nicest smelling AF red wines that I've tried. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So without further ado, let's have a taste. Cheers. That is decent. Um, not a world's biggest red wine fan, but a lot of the alcohol free reds that I've tried have been really sweet, really fruity, and just tasting like grape juice. This has things about it. It's got depth of flavor. It's got the berry notes. It's got those slightly woody notes that you get from being stored in quality barrels. It tastes good. There is no argument about it. Mmm dry, clean. I want to say it's crisp. It's not It's not a white in that sense. Full bodied. I like this. I like it a lot. Nothing to dislike. Nothing. So you enjoy that. Without moderation, like they say. Nice. So, my thoughts on the Wolf Lass Zero Shiraz. This is a decent drop of wine. Um, now, I have, I guess, made a bit of a rookie mistake. Um, red wines are meant to be a little bit warmer. This one is fridge cool. Um, so I suspect it's going to be better when it warms up. That said... Normally on, on a, a drink like this, the cold will mute the flavour. It hasn't. Um, it's still open. It's still deep. It's woody. It's fruity. It's rich, as they say, slightly spicy. I get what they're saying with that. All told, it's a damn fine red wine. Um, so, would I buy it again? Absolutely, I would. I would argue it's the top of the pile of the alcohol-free red wines that I've tried. And that's taking into account some of the ones from Tesco. Is it the Tempranillo? 
um, Cabernet. That was brilliant. This is better. Um, is it an authentic drinking experience? <clears throat> I can't say I've drunk many Shiraz in my lifetime, but it's decent. Uh, I go so far to say it's very, very good. Is it an authentic one? I can't say. Don't, don't know. Um, but it's an authentic wine drinking experience. It tastes like wine. It's got the experience of the wine. The bottle is classy. You know, some of them look really kind of like they've dumbed it down. This looks like a quality expensive bottle of wine. And it wasn't cheap by alcohol-free wine standards. It was, well, I pay for this. About six quid in Morrison's. Um, but it's worth every penny. Uh, it is a proper adult beverage. And that's all I can ask for, really. Um, so on the old uh, Scott and Wonders World, thumbs up, down or in the middle scale, it's very much a thumbs up for this one. Uh, it's brilliant. It really is good. And for those of you out there who are looking for a decent alcohol-free red wine and you haven't tried this one, you really ought to um, because it is special. Very special indeed. So we'll leave it there and say, that's been the wine. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your likes, comments, dislikes, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And if you know any better alcohol-free red wines than this one, do let me know. Catch you again soon. Bye for now.